Okay, this is our uh, geometry uh, review video number four. And for this one, I want to again go into the idea of a definition, postulate, uh, postulate, and theorem. Uh, remember, we said in the last video, theorems are statements that are proved deductively. Uh, definitions and postulates, and we might want to throw in there the idea of properties as well. Properties uh, in algebra are assumed without proof, so we don't try to prove those. Okay, so uh, what do I want to do here? Let's talk about a conditional. Um, if, then. These are our uh, conditional statements. We remember the if part was the hypothesis, and the then part was the conclusion. And uh, let me throw a typical um, conditional at you. If a quadrilateral, quadrilateral is a rectangle, is a rectangle, then it is a parallelogram. We can do that with the Euler diagram. Here's all our parallelograms, and we know that rectangles are a smaller subcategory. If we are in this rectangle circle, we are certainly a parallelogram. Uh, what happens if we swap around, though, the hypothesis and the conclusion? Okay, so we're just going to trade places with those and see what happens. Uh, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, parallelogram, then it is a rectangle. And obviously we're going to put a question mark there. And the answer is no. Uh, there are parallelograms, lots of parallelograms, that are not rectangles. Okay, so when we swap the hypothesis and the conclusion, this is called the converse. And oftentimes, the converse of a statement uh, is not true. Often, often not true, even though the original statement is true. However, for definitions and postulates and properties, converses will be true. So let's look at a, a simple definition. Um, a square is a equiangular equilateral quadrilateral. Boy, that's, that's a mouthful. Quadrilateral. Okay, so if we do this as a conditional, this would be the if part. If you have a square, then it, it has four equal, equal angles, right? Equiangular, four equal angles, and four equal sides. Okay? The converse would be, of course, if you have something that has four equal angles and four equal sides, then it has to be a square. And sure enough, that's true as well. So for definitions, uh, the converse will be true. Well, let's just note that. For definitions or postulates or properties, okay, the converse of the original statement is always true. Always true. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here.